Hi, I'm uh, Rudy Sinaray. Uh, I am the Clinical Research Fellow working on the Oxford Street 2 study. We are investigating uh, the effects of ambient diesel pollution, i.e. real-world diesel pollution, uh, and the effects uh, that this may have on patients with um, chronic bronchitis and emphysema, otherwise known as COPD, uh, as well as patients with ischemic heart disease um, separately. Uh, we're also t um, using healthy volunteers to compare these two as well. We are um, taking our participants and we are doing a series of investigations, um, including things like lung function, uh, checking arterial stiffness and doing uh, blood tests as well uh, that are looking at particular markers of inflammation and oxidative stress. And then uh, after doing that, we take our uh, participants out to Oxford Street and we uh, essentially walk around for a couple of hours, uh, do a lung function test out there, uh, and come back to uh, the hospital and complete our series of investigations um, following that to see if there are any changes. Uh, and at a separate time point, we will do exactly the same thing, but we are taking our participants to Hyde Park, which is our control um, area, to see if there's any changes um, and whether ambient diesel pollution levels have an effect on our volunteers. The tests that we do out on Oxford Street, well, we're set, we are measuring um, uh, air pollution and particulate matter in, uh, in a real-time manner with portable uh, equipment. Um, and we are measuring our volunteers' uh, lung function tests. We're checking something called uh, FEV1, and, uh, which is force expiratory volume in one second. Um, and we're also checking force vital capacity, otherwise known as FVC, um, and these are measures of um, lung function. Before and after, when we come back, we're going to uh, do a test of arterial stiffness, which measures um, two main um, uh, um, things. Uh, one's called pulse wave velocity, and the other one is augmentation index. And these are measures of how, um, uh, how stiff your arteries are, um, as we suspect that exposure to diesel pollution might cause your arteries to stiffen acutely, um, which is, uh, these are measures of cardiovascular risk essentially. We're not sure if our healthy volunteers are going to be affected. There have been studies uh, that are more experimental and not related to ambient levels, um, which have shown changes such as increased arterial stiffness afterwards um, and changes in uh, lung function, so deteriorating lung function after exposure. Um, but at real-world ambient levels, we're not sure that will affect um, healthy volunteers. Um, but we are uh, concerned that people with chronic bronchitis and emphysema and heart disease um, may have uh, increased inflammation in the lungs after inhaling ambient um, uh, diesel uh, exhaust. And uh, we may expect a change in lung function, a uh, change in arterial stiffness, and a change in some of the markers that we are testing that looks at inflammation um, in the blood. Um, if we find positive findings, um, we would uh, be inclined to uh, advise our uh, patients with COPD and heart disease to um, try and avoid areas of high exposure, high areas of high pol air pollution. Um, and uh, I'm sure the London Assembly would probably want to take note of any positive findings as well and uh, decide whether uh, they can form strategies to um, further control air pollution and emissions to uh, reduce the risks that may be associated with chronic disease.